FNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials. Finished down 269. NASDAQ off 88. S&P's off 43. We take a look at these markets right off the bat. Let's do this first today because what you have here, folks, is that the market tried to get to a higher high. It should have been able to get to a, a higher high like big time because what it had done yesterday is this. It came into a swing low. It rejected lower price and it had lighter volume, right? So you closed out the SPY at the high of the day, which is 416. Well, the swing high is 417.44. Guess what? It couldn't handle it. I mean, when a market can be next to a swing like that and can't handle it, and then gets comes down after trying to be high, you're going south, man. NDX 100 is actually showing that it's even weaker. Well, it's, it's, it's always been the weakest on this whole downtrend anyway. Bottom line, what the Qs did, the Qs got to 311.72. The high of yesterday was uh, 3.1067. Yesterday we had 44 million shares. Guess what? 37 million. So you get over the high, you closed underneath it, you had light of volume. That's saying downtown we're going, man. This, this market's waiting for the CPI. But what's going to be intriguing here is this, is that the way this is set up is that now you're going to have the futures probably going south tonight. And this is what's really wild, so check this out. Because we're going sideways so much, that's actually going to give it a chance, again, to go up on Friday in the CPI, you know. So the real kicker is, like, how, how do these futures do tonight as to how we set up on uh, Friday morning? Because there's no doubt that we haven't done anything right now in the seven trading days. Gold. Gold contract rejected the lower price out here. Once again, uh, bottom line, gold's looking for higher price. What we did out here today, we got down at 1846, you're at 1855, rejected lower price, had light of volume, all of the above. NDX, I mean, not the NDX, the dollar index. Now, the dollar index, bottom line, got up to a price point of 102,776 and basically kind of laid there, you know. So the dollar, once again, is going to try to, you know, get up and over this 102,731, uh, which is 200 ticks. If it can't make it, if this has the makings of a nice ABC structure on the way down. That's what's happening. Now, there's no doubt the note and bond market, they continue down on price, up on yield. Right now, the 10-year is yielding 3.03%. And guess what? We're still at a Fed fund rate of 1%. The Fed funds rate, they want to push it up to 2.5%, folks. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. It's a great show, folks. Great way to start your day. Okay.